integrate the tangent of x times the secant cube of x. So we have powers of tangent and secant. So whenever you have powers of tangent and secant, it is totally worth memorizing the following fact. So if you have an even power of secant, so even secant, you want to save a copy of secant squared. And if you have an odd power of tangent, you want to save a copy of secant tangent. There's more stuff to do after this, but if you memorize these two key things, um, you'll be able to figure it out. I used to resist uh, memorizing this, but I have finally given in. So even secant, save a secant squared. Odd tangent, save a secant tangent. So here we have um, an odd power of secant, so this is no good. Uh, but we have an odd power of tangent, so it's the first power of tangent. So we'll save a secant tangent. So we'll start by rewriting our integral as follows. So we're saving a secant tangent. So I have to borrow one of these secants here. So when we, when we do that, we're left with secant squared x. And then I'll write the other secant here. And then tangent here. So we saved a secant tangent, right? Secant times secant squared is secant cubed, right? So we've done nothing except rewrite this. So we're saving a secant tangent. So why would we do that? Well, secant tangent is the derivative of secant. So the natural thing to do now is let u be equal to secant. And then so du, well, that's going to be the derivative of secant is secant tangent x dx. And now everything falls into place really, really nicely. This becomes the integral of secant squared, which is now u squared. And all of this, this is just your du, right? Du is equal to secant x tangent x. Now you just use the power rule for logs. So you add 1, so you get u to the third over 3 plus our constant of integration, c. And the last thing to do is replace your u with secant. So this is secant cubed x over 3 plus c. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.